I'm going to get the material properties back up and I'm, while we're in the image editor I'm going to get the image of the stainless steel hot tub to increase the brightness and shininess of the material I'm going to make this highlight spot brighter and bigger so how do we do that? Well first of all is it the right colour for steel? If I click the ink dropper and click in the highlight area is it white as is the default? Well it is very close to it so white is fine as a highlight for steel so how do we make it brighter? Well if we increase the intensity the spot becomes brighter and there's a higher contrast with the normal colour. To make the spot bigger we alter the hardness value which by default is 50. If I put that at 1 the highlight region covers the whole of the sphere but if I put it at a value of 10 we get a big shiny spot. Let's see what that, that's like when we render. If I go back to 3D view window and render the image certainly more shiny, bright and shiny, but it, does it look metallic? The setting that I think really makes the material look like shiny metal is to make it reflective by turning mirror on uh, a, re a reflectivity value of about 0.5 and if we render that back to 3D view window we get a nice shiny stainless steel material for a gold material we need an image of some gold and if I go to the material properties with steel selected I'm going to click the plus to create a new material which I'll call gold and I'm going to go to the diffuse color select the ink dropper and select the normal gold color and go to the specular ink dropper and the highlighted gold colour. I'm going to go to 3D view and I'm going to select the background and I'm going to add a new material which I'm going to call brown and I'm going to change the diffuse I'm going to select an orange colour and make that dark so we have a dark orange is brown now all I have to do is select my cube and change the material to gold and the same for the monkey and then go to the render button and render image we have gold objects instead of steel. That's the end of the tutorial. Um, I'll put all the, the final file at my website freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.